Hello, hello. How hello. Are you? hello. Good, how are you? Fantastic. Happy birthday, Greg. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, Clark Greg. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was hilarious. So will Henry still have the shotgun axe as a director of S.H.I.E.L.D. or does he have to kind of set it aside in the corner or not? Yeah. I think it's never far away. Yeah, it's never far away. Never far away. I love my baby. <laughs> <laughs> so in the very first episode that they screened, uh, which was amazing, um, I didn't think that that was going to happen, so that was a bonus. Um, we see you as the director, um, and you have a conversation with a mentor. Uh, I don't want to spoil too much because... Um, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so you have a conversation with a mentor. Uh, what was your headspace in like getting into the role of being the director and kind of like not feeling close in shoes, but kind of like walking in his path? Let me ask you something about that. So sometimes you feel like... If they make you the director of shield, you feel responsible. Oh yeah. Doesn't you feel yeah. exactly like they actually gave you that job? Yeah. yeah. Like, I gotta, yeah. Right? I, there, it's weird. It's true. You, there is a certain. There's a responsibility. I mean, it, it's true. It's weird. Yeah. And if I screw this up, people will die. Yeah. It, it, it's really strange. And even as and an actor, it's like, oh man, man. <laughs> I'm, you know, you're the director. You have, you have a very delivery. small group. Yeah, very small. Group. And if, but the thing is, uh, the beginning of season six is the first time I'm fully uh, wearing the, the, the clothes of a director fully. And there was no kind of like, oh, we're going to kind of ease your way into it. So it was really uncomfortable. Because years prior, mechanic, just doing things, just kind of on the outskirts, but now I'm in the middle of everything. And it was, it, it was uncomfortable, and it was strangely very lonely. Yeah, it was, uh, and, you know, and I, I get the sense that probably a lot of our leaders feel that way. Uh, in a position uh, that they're in, that there's a, a loneliness, because they really aren't, any other people that they can that can relate to what they're doing at that time, and it's weird, it, and, it, and it even affects me as an actor. Uh, it's just like, wow, it just feels really wrong. Well, Yo-Yo's right there. Just saying. Just saying. Well, you know, look. Uh, here's the thing. You can't have any entanglements. It, in, in order to do the job properly, there are elements in one's life that. Uh, Sometimes has to be sad. You can't show favoritism by sleeping with just one person. <laughs> yeah, I'll sleep with everybody. Yeah. But does Matt get Lola now that? Who did? Now you hold on. <laughs> Who gets, or did you That's, leave? Did you leave Lola to me? You know, we haven't seen Lola. Yeah, That's exactly. a really good question. Who gets Lola? Where is Lola? You know, the more undercover Shield has gotten. The harder it is to drive around in the 62 yeah, really. But bench. now, you saw cars with a shield logo. Oh, you know again. he's driving around. You can tell me. But there was one time you're like, you wanted to look under the hood, and Colson's like, Yeah, that's when he was a traitor. Yeah. Remember that? It's kind of amazing you're directing yeah, well, a shield. I wasn't really a traitor. I mean, it was like. You thought I was a traitor. Yeah. Yeah. You were wrong. Yeah. So, uh, you directed the first episode. How was that? Uh, the mind frame that you were going into in the season six, knowing what happened in season five with your character. Um, it was a great opportunity. The first episode you're challenging because you're establishing a whole new kind of world and season and what was going on. There's some new characters there and threats. Uh, the way that the part of the team is out in space looking for cryo fits. Um, it's just more sci-fi space war than we've ever done. And um, space war, it could be a movie. <laughs> space wars. Space war. You know what? I think I got something there. Um, and at the same time, it was really a good one because there's not a lot of whoever I'm playing in that episode, so it let me really focus on doing that job. And, uh, and at the same time, everybody should, if they like directing at all, they should have the chance to direct and design the introduction of their new character, because that was really fun. Any possibility of scrolls? It's all scrolls, all the time. No, I, I don't think so. Okay. So you've led teams before. How has your management style changed? I've led teams before. Yeah. Uh, actually, I did lead the humans once. Yeah. How has my style changed? Yeah. How has that leadership style changed? Uh, yes. The, the adjustment is that there's quite a bit more responsibility now. And uh, as Clark alluded to, there can't be any, anything uh, hindering my decision making. So 
as I said, there, there has to be sacrifices made personally in order to do what's best for everyone else. Thanks, guys. Right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you.